Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. Let's talk a little bit about death. I call it the greatest fear of man. No one in here has a greater fear than of death. That's why we take vitamins. People jogging every morning down the street and on the beaches, they're scared of death. <laughs> we all trying to eat right. We cut out some fat after we turn 40. Why? Afraid of death. One little pain somewhere and we start thinking, oh dear. And we start working on ourselves. Eh? And it's incredible that a lot of people uh, don't understand why we're afraid of death. Write this down. Here's some reasons why. Number one, the most common denominator of mankind is death. It's a very important statement. I don't care who you think you are, dead gonna get you. You may not speak to anybody in your neighborhood all your life, but we're gonna be at your funeral and watch you die. Maybe you are a millionaire or you're broke, it doesn't matter. Death treats everybody the same way. You may be white or black or Asian, Caucasian, or from Africa, death doesn't care. It kills everybody. It brings everyone to a common end. Politicians die, policemen die, paupers die, fishermen die, children die, teenagers die, old people die, death doesn't care. It brings everyone to the same level. Number two, the greatest equalizer of all mankind is death. Our founding father, Prime Minister Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinlin, the late, is dead. And our present Prime Minister will also die. Every businessman who thinks that he is God's favorite will die. Don't be jealous of millionaires, they will die. Money doesn't protect you from death. And you can't bribe death. You can't offer death special things to go away. It, it equalizes everybody. Number three, the only thing mankind cannot stop, postpone, Avoid, ignore, delay is death. You can postpone an appointment, but not death's appointment. You can delay going to visit somebody, but you can delay death. <laughs> it's one guy who doesn't respect you. Number four, death is the final solution. Let me tell you what this means. I don't care how people are treating you right now, dead gonna get them. Maybe you got a manager who thinks that she is God's gift to earth, or a boss who believes that he owns the world, dead gonna get him. Hitler thought, I am the most powerful man in Europe. He's dead. Mussolini thought I was the greatest ruler of Italy. He's dead. Karl Marx says there's no God and Lenin claims God is dead. And they're both dead. It is a solution. Let me tell you, the solution to tyrannies, dictatorships, oppression in countries is death. Death is the final solution. Some people 
they just live too long. They're the ones who harass you. <laughs> now don't say amen too loud. We don't want to kill nobody. <laughs> but you see, when you think of all the problems in the world, in countries where there's oppression, death will solve that problem. Maybe the governments can't quite reach them and, and try them and bring them to justice, but death will solve the problem. Everybody say thank God for death. I mean, I'm sure there are Haitians in this room tonight, today, who are glad that death took care of Papa Doc. And there are people in America who are glad that death took care of the Japanese Prime Minister, Emperor, who bombed Pearl Harbor. There are Jews who are glad death took, of, took care of Hitler after he killed six million of them. And there are people who are glad in Africa that Idi Amin have to deal with death. And some of you are living with someone. I can leave that right there. Others, of course, they got a good experience. There are others who ain't got a good experience. And they praying. Even come now, Lord Jesus, quickly come now. <laughs> Write this down, please. Death is the ultimate fear of mankind. It's death. Next, the greatest enemy of man is death. Because we can't deal with it. Write this one down. Death is the only appointment every human must keep you don't have a choice young people and lately death doesn't kill old people only it kills people no matter how old they are and that's why you got to be prepared for your appointment at age 10 at age 7, at age 15, and there are young people in here who believe that they ain't going to die. Let me tell you something, you could, you could not see Monday morning. Are you ready to meet death? Here's one that I really felt personally, and some of you felt it as well. Death is permanent. There's nothing more permanent than death. I remember looking at my mother's dead body and I wanted to talk to it and it wouldn't talk back. She looked good. They had her dressed up. And some of you experienced this. You almost get mad at the fact that they won't answer you because they always used to answer you and they don't answer you. The next one is important. Nothing makes you more helpless than death. When someone dies, you feel completely helpless. You can't do nothing about it. You sit there with the body at the wake and you talk stories, but you can't do nothing about that body in that box. And you almost feel like this is a fear because they look so alive. But you are helpless. That's what we're afraid of. We're afraid of the helplessness dead brains. Next, and this is the last one I'm going to say, the only thing you can do with death, there is something you can do with it, and that is to prepare for it. See, if you know you got an appointment, at least you can dress right, put on your clothes, you can decide how you're going to look. The only control you have over death is preparation. And that's why it's important for you to focus on what you could control, which is being prepared for death anytime. If you are 10 years old today, when I make the altar call, make your way to this altar. Let me tell you why. Because you got to be prepared at 10. Because you are already aware what sin is. 
And if you are 60 years old, been playing church, when I make the altar call, you ain't got the time to experiment. Make your preparation sure. And if you ain't quite sure, just come to make sure. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.